you watching Solid State Side TV? Hot sauce! Hello everyone, this is the Hot Sales. I'm Jeffrey Benz and we have Chidi Moyo and Tolu. So good to be back. Yes, had a lot of fun. Thanks to Moyo and Patrick for holding it down for me. And we are here. How are you guys doing? Yeah? I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Slightly irritated, but I'm alright. Why? Why? What happened? Let's not talk Did you about miss it. Me? No. Oh. Let's carry on. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> 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 alright, that's fine. So more how's it been? How's it been so far? I'm, I'm fine, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. As good as one can be. Does the cold get into you? Not really. Yeah. You want a cup of coffee? No, I'm good. So Tolia, coffee good? Yeah, I'm doing very fine. Doing very fine. Alright guys, today we're talking about um jungle justice. Mm-hmm. Yes. Jungle Justice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what is he saying? Like, is the start know. of a movie, <laughs> like, and he's like, Jungle Justice. You get carried away. Like. Okay. No, it's not about getting carried away, but it's it's but really like, something. Really it's critical also. right now in this part of our world. Yeah. It's something we need to talk about. I yeah. mean, I had to emphasize on the Jungle Justice, which yeah. is really nice. So, what is actually Jungle Justice? Chicken. You brought up the topic. Tell us. You know, no, I, want to I want to throw it to you. I want to throw it to you. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, then what do you what do you feel? What do you feel? Uh, you guys, you guys, first? Yeah. Because you're our guest. <laughs> you're our guest. Yes. And you can be very like, prepared. Like. Don't worry. I think I want to explain that last. So, cheese, cheese is that first. Right. <laughs> Always, I'm the one that you starts. Can't you can't run away from it. You can't run away from it. Okay. So, jungle justice, basically not going through the legal system and someone you perceive as a criminal you drag them out for everyone to kind of beat them beat up, up, up is what i understand jungle justice to be okay from my own understanding as well i see it as passing judgment into uh the the mass everyone has their own right to do something stoning beating you know that's what I'm saying. That's what is actual, actually jungle justice. What they, what they think they, they have, think the right. they have a right. Yeah, yeah. they right. have yeah. to put the laws into their heads. And yeah. probably it happens when there's a dysfunctional legal system, like Chidi pointed out at all. So uh, do we have a dysfunctional legal system in Nigeria? Yeah, yes. I mean, right, of course. Yeah. I really think that. we do. Because um, if um, the legal system here in Nigeria was obviously functional, there is no way people would just, you know, take tires and... You know, born, born people born for people. no reason. But I think the real reason why they're doing this is because um, the law and order here in this country or rather society right. is not functional at all. So, okay, they just see the need to take laws into their heads. They obviously know that, oh, if you take them to the police station, they would not, they would not do anything. Mm-hmm. They would just probably release them. So, I just think that's what... So, uh, Moyo, uh, she said something about taking them to the police station and yeah. then not doing anything. So does it mean also that since we have a dysfunctional legal system, we also have a dysfunctional security system as well? Well, they go hand in hand. You know, there's no... Law, law, law security, law order. yeah. Order. The security Ooh, is supposed to serious. maintain... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, security is supposed to maintain law and order. Right. So when people perceive that the security can't do that, you know, they generally, they want... Well, I mean, we're human beings and we have a sense of what just... Sometimes it could be a warped sense of what justice should be. Right. But we always want, like, if somebody... An eye for an eye. If somebody does something, you should get this. But the only problem here is there's no due process. I mean, there are situations where people, they think there is mistake, a case of mistaken identity. identity I mean, yeah. something like that happened very recently. Yes. You know, they, because they just want to meet out justice so bad, they go overboard. Mm-hmm. And, they just, yeah. and it's very wrong. I think it's based on the way our society, you know, the way Perceive we are. We're very, we're very ba- barbaric. We're very, what? <laughs> we are barbaric. No, honestly. What? We are very no, but bar- it's the truth, no, it's actually. The truth, we're barbaric people. We're, it, Sometimes I feel like most some Nigerians have very animalistic tendencies. Wow, okay. way, that's a lot. Yeah, wow, the way, the way we act, one. the way we behave. Not obviously, not all of us. Yeah. And, and no, of, you can say we. I mean, statistics. Yeah, when yeah, you say statistics. we, doesn't necessarily mean like and, the individuals you know, I in see, this room. This is a very serious thing because I see I see things like this happen, and I wonder why a group of people would watch a mob lynch somebody. And just act like it's another day in the office. And these are people who go to church at and, night. night and we are very, I don't understand how, how we That's can be so... passing a lot of what? judgment what? on people. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> no, but Nigerians are generally... No, Nigerians are very religious. religious so I don't people. understand how we can be this religious and yet so ungodly. I okay, mean, so what, what you're saying is that if you walk past 
and they were beating up Jeff, for example, you would like dive in there, be like, Superman, I'm, not, I'm gonna. Again, like, obviously, I'm not gonna dive in there. Like, <laughs> exactly, but, but you, you, go, you go to church as well. It. No, can't, I'm getting to a point. Okay. So they, people, nobody calls the authorities, they just take pictures. It's just. It's Sorry short. to cut you in there. There's been a case where even the authorities were even joining to do the same thing to this particular set of people. Say, uh, I think it was a situation where um, someone stole the phone in the market mm -hmm. and there was a security agent there. Instead of, you know, dragging him out to something, he joined up. He really? was beaten, yeah. At the, what at, kind of a security agent was it? It was a policeman. A policeman. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think... It was just one. He wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a policeman that they called from the station. No, he was not the one called. Obviously. It was probably because someone I, stationed Because I've there. seen this happen, you know, yeah. in the areas where I've stayed. I've seen them beating somebody. And then they called the police and the police came with the van and they took the guy. He was all bloodied up. But at least, if they didn't come at, at that time, they would have killed him. You know, um, so I don't think... If it's just a random police... I mean, some policemen... Well, I mean, that's a difference. There's some times that even policemen can't even control these people... Because I mean, diving into a mob must be. Yes. Like, let, let me give I don't know that I'm going but to do that. Let me give an example. Yeah. I read in the news of recent, you know, about this Bado issue yeah. um, happening in Ikorodu. Yeah. And um, there was this particular um, suspect. Okay, then you know, had a Bado cult um, group. Yeah. And then policemen actually came through, and there was no way the crowd could not. not. I think they could not control the crowd at all. That's, it was it was that bad. bad. But you but. The police are not exactly, especially in Nigeria, known for promoting law and order. We are well, no, no, we're no and because of that, <laughs> we're no, and because of that, that's why there's this kind of disrespect. disrespect. In America, yeah. when there is a mob, once they see a policeman, because they they know if you call police now, well, police that you call in Nigeria sometimes they say, "I'm not hearing you." Be <laughs> doing. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's no excuse. That's it's excuse. no excuse. Okay, it's fine. No I'm, excuse. I'm, I'm coming to that. I'm coming. But to that's that. what so, I say. So, Chidi, yeah. We have all been saying the people, the people, the crowd, the crowd. Who are who do you think are these people? Are they are they us or are this could we narrow them down to a, a sector or, or people in the society that carry out this uh, this? Uh, I don't think justice? I don't think we can like sectionalize people because it's Nigerians. So it's you, me, and it, him, it, everyone. It could it could quite possibly be any of us in any situation. Because what we're saying is it happens because people don't believe in the legal system. And for the most exactly. part, most people don't believe in the, the legal, legal system. system. So you're and agreeing then, with him with the barbaric act, right? What I'm saying is if, for example, a Badu person or somebody that has been going through, has that they know is a kidnapper or is a cultist, if they catch that person, yeah. what they're most likely going to do is do the same jungle yeah. justice thing because they believe that if you go through the court system, they will not get their deserved reward and so the cycle continues because this person did this he's somebody stole a phone and then you beat this person and then i think it was another person so it's a thing that continues so yeah. to sectionalize and say oh it's base people that do it or it's the masses or, I, I don't think but, uh, i don't think that i think everyone has a kind of tendency me, to do just, that um, just okay. to, um, yeah. just give an answer to what you just said um, what party who um, who um, pe um sorry the partake in, partake yeah, people. jungle justice i would just say um angry nigerians which is all of, us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all of us <laughs> everybody's angry all of us <laughs> they're actually tired of um they're actually tired of the way um the country is being you know ruled by the government in the sense that obviously this is the, obviously we obviously lack trust and confidence yeah. mm -hmm. in these people so that's the major reason why jungle justice okay fine since the policeman will not come and you exactly know, you know, but i'm gonna i'm gonna do it myself yeah. definitely but let's hey, do it ourselves yeah. but hey let's calm down okay let's, let's, let's get this thing. <laughs> let's get it into perspective down. okay just because somebody you don't like have full confidence in the government does that mean you should kill somebody? No. Oh, no everybody. Like that. It doesn't justify the... Exactly. And sometimes... I, and, I, nobody, and I try to understand justifying. their reasoning. No, I know. I'm not, I'm not saying that anybody's justifying it. But I'm just saying that up to them, now I'm talking to them, right. you know, people okay. who have of that you know, point Do of view. Do they watch our show? The they people probably, that beat be people? surprised. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Are you, are you people greeting me? <laughs> I don't know. But I don't know what I'm the protocol is. is. Just, you know, just because you don't have confidence in them. I, I really don't even understand the reasoning the reason. behind killing somebody. I don't no. think you set out to kill someone. They, no, they let, let, they, no, no, no. Let's... Carry, Scenario. So as, scenario. As, as well is they will find foil and tie it yeah. because yeah. they are, are not. Look, yeah, are scenario. Angry. When we say jungle justice, we're imagining a large group of people come like you drag them out. But I saw something on social media where someone stole like 
some measly amounts of dollars yeah. from yeah. and it was like maybe her gate man or something and she called like two or three people in the house to beat him up that's how jungle justice starts exactly. when you suddenly feel that you're so frustrated and angry and you think that you know what i'm not going to calm down mm-hmm. and and think of or say you know what leave my house i'm just going to l- lynch on you I'm and just, pounce no. and, and do that's, everything and, and then you come through something like imagine today today Ikoi has been flooded. Oh my god. <laughs> I've run through I have driven through a flood today. And then somebody's going to come and tell me something random or they will accidentally bash Bashing. my car. Okay. People of God. Mm-hmm. I will be, annoyed. will be annoyed. And it will take a lot of home training yeah. to tell me you know what perhaps get in your car and drive off and go steam off on your show mm-hmm. or <laughs> or go up and go yeah I'm mad busy. Bah! That's how it starts. Yeah. And then right. the thing is, you can start with one person beating each other. And then someone go, ah, they did beat this person. Who beat Another person comes. Exactly. So exactly. the mob, it's not like you start out. So my point to Moyo, you don't start out planning yeah. to, to someone. kill someone. someone. You're you like, really? it's frustration. Yeah. You don't start just, out. They take out frustration exactly. on people. It escalates. Those, Alu, those four boys in Alu, no, they did not plan to kill I don't, I don't mis- know. So, well, just so that comes to my question. I don't know. It escalates. It escalates. See, and so you start from beating and somebody goes from beating, they go to kick yeah. you from kicking. Somebody else remembers that they have a machete and then something exactly. and then suddenly so chili, I'm coming, there's a brother. Hold on, dead. I'm coming through, I'm coming through. Okay. Wait, hold on. So um this goes uh, to you now, Tony. Mm-hmm. So you're saying or oh, we're all agreeing to the fact that everyone has a slice of, of madness. Of madness. Yeah. And yes. they, they have they have yeah, no so are we are we to blame the government, the people or the security Every agent for this? Um, well, okay, sorry, let me let So me I want that. to know because first I think yeah. we should um, really blame the government because if this if, if people actually trust this institution, there is no way you will just take tire and bond, bond someone, someone. Yeah. or put out your frustration exactly. on someone. But it does question now, our also, civility but, as people. Yeah, yes, exactly. But like we all have it. We all, we all have a part to play in this. For example, we individuals like you have a, like probably like maybe your friend um, probably annoys you or something, and then yeah. this other person comes. Oh, what should you, you know? <laughs> do you, you, nobody even wants to hear what probably aimed, happened. What happened? And then they just start. They just turn hand, then start beating. It actually starts from there. Is so very, very advanced. Moyo, I, I promise you that for the most part, it, they don't, advanced. they don't plan yeah. to kill you the, when I, it I, starts. I, I, I don't, actually, think, I don't say think so. That jungle justice is actually an insult. It's, it's it. barbaric. I would barbaric, even go with yes, his own so fact because involvement. there have been yes. cases where so, um, even a female, oh, it was, it was, it was so touching. They had to put. Okay, and Rod through her sorry. private parts. Yeah, I read I'm that. I'm sorry. Like, I mean, it's, it's, it's not funny. It's definitely not funny. But your but face was hilarious. hilarious. No, <laughs> no, I had to, I had to feel that part. Guys, like, how about the um, the, I don't know if you guys heard about the one that um, they lynched a young boy because he stole Gary. Gary, that's what I'm, what I'm like, saying. Gary. People they have to put pepper actually, to you. No people, matter what excuse or no matter what how you try to understand it, people are not well. <laughs> how will you, you buy Gary? I will stop. Like, okay, he's still Gary. Still Gary. Even, even, I do, let me uh, let me not miss him. But I think there's one like there's in one of the holy books yeah. where they say if somebody steals and you now find out that he actually is in need of, of what he stole, let him you go. give the person yeah. extra. Okay, so what if the person so you stole from? Also, yes. Okay, you All right. work like in. All right, fine. So instead of blaming, <laughs> instead of blaming, what can be done to stop this? Chili, please. Again, what? Why are you starting? <laughs> Why do you start with <laughs> me <laughs> in this <laughs> What can be done to stop this? Wow, it's again, it's a, it's a Herculean thing because it, it starts with the legal trusting the legal system yeah. that yeah, if you system. if you but also I think. Just in our homes, if some, if you assume that your house girl or gate man or house boy, do people still have house boys? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But I'm kids. sorry, I don't know because people just usually say house girl, so I'm not yeah. sure. <laughs> but it starts from if you perceive that they do something or they okay. did something wrong. Yeah. The first thing should not be to you devil and like hit up, and hit them because you're you're training your kids to assume that hitting people is right or a correct reaction to when something doesn't go your way even if the person did a wrong it's not for you to carry out that job i mean you can say leave my house don't come back but to hit a go extra exactly it's it's, it's, that's how it starts and then you go oh it's fine and other people can do it and i'll also say that no matter the crime 
No ma- I, I honestly, I'm not, I'm not for the death penalty. Mm. No matter whatever, whatever. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's a different debate. That's a different debate. It's a different one. Yeah. Different what I want to no. say is that no matter what the person does, there's yeah. no, there's no nothing that deserves you killing somebody in such a disgraceful manner or something exactly. like that. If I let the courts have their, have say, their say, and either way, I think the government needs to lay down policies, policies. and publicize these policies the way they publicize some other policies that, you know, publicize, <laughs> I, I hope you get what I mean, but you need to pub- make it, let it be known Claire, that if yo. you kill somebody, you're, you're going to prison for, for 15 it. years. Let them know. Let All people right. know. Tell me what you have. Yeah, just like um, Chidi and Mary has said, the government, and also people should actually give these people a chance to even explain mm-hmm. themselves. Because they don't even give them, they just the chance to don't say anything. Pounce on them and that's it. All right, I, I think for me, I think we should all um, play a part in it, orientate people about this, talk to them about it. I think the we government... We should walk down the streets and... Yes, there should be a, a kind moms. of movement. Instead of all these pastors that are preaching. Yeah, preach they should preach something. In our schools, they should teach the younger ones because it starts from the home yeah. and everywhere. Teach the younger ones. We don't. We should even know our rights. We don't know oh, our rights. That's lovely. Right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming through. Thank you for putting this. Remember, this is the hot sauce. You can leave your comment on the comment section below like share and talk about this thank you so much i'm jeffrey benz and thank you all for joining bye guys bye. Bye. Bye.